Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is IPO Market Watch. This is a channel that covers every single initial public offering guaranteed, plus lots of extra content on a daily basis. Stocks already trading, cryptos at night, all sorts of things. So Mink Therapeutics initial public offering. Let's look at this IPO as it is going public on October 15. So Mink Therapeutics Corporation, I-N-K-T is the ticker symbol, 4 million shares. That's it. That's all it's going to offer. 12 to 14 US dollars, October 15th, it's going public. According to their CC filing, they say that they are a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company pioneering the discovery, development, and commercialization of allogenic off-the-shelf uh, invariant neutral natural killer uh, T-cell therapies to treat cancers and, and uh, immune uh, mediate diseases. So INKT is the ticket symbol. It's going to raise $52 million in this IPO. The company is developing cancer treatments. It has entered phase one trials, so that's good. It's not preclinical at least, right? Uh, so the New York-based company was founded to develop allogeneic in very natural, uh, natural killer T-cells. Why do I have a hard time saying that? Natural killer T-cell therapies for the treatment of solid tumors and other cancers. Management is headed by CEO Jennifer uh, Buell, who has been Buell, who has been with the firm uh, since February 2021, has more than 20 years in experience. The firm's lead candidate is Agent 797. They called it in Phase One safety trials for treating solid tumors, multiple myeloma, immune diseases. Um, here's the thing, though: the Phase One trial, the data from from the Phase One trial, you know, to see how things went in Phase One won't be available until 2022. So right now, if you are going to invest in this company, you will kind of, kind of in a way, be blindly investing because you don't know what will happen with phase one, if it will be fine, if they need to redo it. And that would set, you know, if they have to, if it doesn't go well in phase one, it can really set things back a lot, years. Um, so investors in the firm have invested at least $53 million in equity and debt owed to its parent firm in, uh, in equity investment and include parent firm Agenis Incorporation. As of June 30th, 2021, this company had $1.6 million in cash, $67.9 million in total liabilities, and uh, of which $52.5 million were from the firm uh, Agenis. So Evercore ISI is the lead underwriter in this, and they don't have the best of track records. You can see already a lot of negativity. I'm just, I'm not against any IPO. I wish all IPOs would do well, but you know, when you see that it's in phase one, but I don't know what the data will be until next year. Uh, they have only $1.6 million in cash, which means they need cash and might be diluting shares in the long run. Liabilities are $67.9 million compared to $1.6 million in cash. So valuation score because of all that is a two out of five. This this could be a really great stock in the future, but coming out of the gate, not something I would want to get into. Uh, please don't trade according to my valuation score or my opinion because none of those is financial advice. Please do your own due diligence. And thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you guys all the best. Take care.